20 year old parking tickets. Chicago motorists are getting notices now telling me they owe for unpaid tickets dating back decades. The city is using old tickets to generate new revenue. In this original report, two investigator Dave Savini shows how this could happen to you. This is incredible. Kate and Rob, it happened to one woman who was so outraged she reached out to us for help. She wants to know how the city can do this and how can anyone fight a ticket that is decades old. It's not fair to just grab something from 21 years ago and say, you owe this. And it's not fair to say, too bad, prove it. Anna Parsons says she feels the city of Chicago is taking advantage of her. She got this notice in the mail last month saying she has unpaid parking tickets and late fees from as far back as 1994, more than two decades ago. Do you think this should be a warning for other people who might have gotten tickets years ago? Please, yes, beware. And she says the city is telling her it's her job to prove she paid the tickets. 21 years, who keeps receipts from 21 years? Making matters worse since they say she failed to pay, the notice warns her they can take her property immediately. So that's a vehicle seizure notice. Exactly, and that's what scared me. It says seizure, I'm like, what is this? They can boot any car that's in my name. She claims the city never sent her any prior warnings about the alleged tickets. Did they send you a notice of violation in the mail? Never. Never, and they knew where I where I lived. No letters, no statements, nothing on my credit. I was able to get my license, renew my license plates. That's what's disturbing to me. She believes this is a sudden desperation tactic by Chicago to collect an estimated $1.5 billion in uncollected ticket fines dating back to 1990. Her bill for the old tickets, 440 bucks. Are you saying that because the city has such a big budget deficit that they're unfairly going after people like you? I'm assuming they are. The city claims they sent her numerous notices per each ticket and that she contested a few of them years ago. Parsons says that's not true. The city confirmed this is an attempt to collect revenue through people who get new speed camera tickets or request new city stickers with updated address information. They've now collected $800,000 since implementing the program in May. Another person just told us he got hit with two tickets from 94 and 95 when he went out to try and get a, and renew his plumber's license. So they're even going into that database as well. It's almost like a joke, right? I mean, yeah. she hasn't received anything in 20 it, years and then gets frustrating. With they this. had a 15 year old address on her and they never, she says she never got a single thing from them. How does she fight it after all this time? Well, and, yeah. she, and she's also updating her address, but they have an older address for her? A 15 year old one on file and she updated it every year with the Secretary of State when she moved. Okay. So you, you don't yeah. even know if these are no, legit. It's, it's right. tough. And there's no statute of limitations in Chicago where oh, other geez. cities have one. Interesting. Wow. Well, that's yeah. maddening.